Today we're going to have ourselves a little swatch party, but this is like an extra special swatch party because we are going to go through and I'm going to swatch for you guys all of my like Blitz Astral and like my special shades, if you will, from all of my Pat McGrath palettes. I'm also going to do swatches with the new Intensifier stick and without it on my arm so that you guys can see kind of like the difference that it makes, etc. I actually haven't done swatches with this on my arm and like not so I don't know if we'll even notice but let's let's find out together shall we so hopefully that sounds interesting to you and if it does let's go ahead and do the YouTube things give this video a thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell it truly helps my channel out and I really appreciate it if you do and now we're gonna go into the desk mode where it's all hands also side note please don't come for my nails I haven't had time to do them today okay and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to swatching Who's excited? Because I am. Okay, so we're gonna get started and what I'm gonna do is like introduce each palette. I'm actually gonna start from Mothership 1 and work upwards. We're gonna swatch each of the four special shades with the Intensify stick, which I have right here. And without it, and we're gonna see what these look like. But also I just honestly wanted to swatch all of the special shades for you because they're just so pretty and they need a little moment. And also just a side note, my Mothership palettes are really dirty because I genuinely use them a lot, so. Don't come for me with that either. But the first one we're gonna do is, <laughs> look how just dirty and disgusting this is. Uh, we're gonna do subliminal first. So we've got these four beautiful special shades right here. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch them. So we have all of the subliminal Blitz Astral shades swatched. Now the first shade uh, swatch of each color is without the intensifiers and then the second shade is with the intensifiers. And I feel like you can see the difference. Essentially what it does is it really turns them into like this cream shadow. So especially with this one, I feel like you can see there's a lot of texture. It's kind of like not as opaque. And then you get to this one and it's almost like a creamy shadow. Same with these, like all of them just become a little bit more cream and a little bit more intense and a little bit more metallic. So it is actually nice to see that you can really tell the difference. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous when I was like, I'm, I've been saying that this stick is amazing and like I believe it's amazing but I feel like these swatches do show that it is amazing at least in my opinion I feel like there will definitely be some people that are like you know I can get the same result with wetting my brush or a glitter glue and totally you can I just really like that this is in a stick but yeah so this is subliminal this is totally my favorite um Blitz Astral shade from Subliminal. This is actually what I've got on my eyes in today's video. And actually the look, by the way, I did not film and I'm sorry, but it's super easy. I literally put this shadow through my crease, this shadow slightly lower down, and then this shadow all over the lid. And that's all I used. Oh, and I put this one on the inner corner. No, I didn't. I put this one on the inner corner. <laughs> but anyway, this is Subliminal. What do we think? Next up, we have Subliminal. Subliminal is so freaking pretty, is it not? Like. These four shades, damn, they're gorgeous. Just like even the pink tones of this whole palette with the green, it's just freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and uh, swatch these. So here we have Subliminal. Is Are these not the most amazing swatches? Honestly, Subliminal has some of the best Blitz Astral shades in the whole Mothership collection. I stand by what I said, girl. I stand by it. Because look, this is freaking gorgeous. This is freaking gorgeous. Like, look at that pink shift. It's so beautiful. The green, I mean... I feel like I, I feel like the green explain like is self-explanatory and then this beautiful shade freaking stunning. Next up we have Subversive. I adore Subversive so much. I think it is one of the most unique Mothership palettes. These shades are just out of this world. So let's go ahead and get to swatching. Hopefully you guys find this video interesting. I'm enjoying myself so. <laughs> Here are the subversive swatches. I just adore subversive and honestly, I feel like it's one of those kinds of palettes that really, it's not until you put it on your eyes that you really see the full effect. This pink shade, oh my lord, like the most, the most 
beautiful pink shade and this like purpley blue shade. It's just, it's really funny because on camera it seems to look a lot more blue, but in person it's really quite purple. And even this gold shade, it's just such a stunning unique gold. I really just, I honestly love these. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, okay, so which ones are your favorite, favorite shades? And I will do that at the end. I will tell you which ones are my all time faves. Okay. I promise. But you do need to know that I genuinely love every single one of these shades. Okay. I don't think that there's actually, there is two Pat McGrath shades that I don't super, super love. There is, but other than those two, I love everything, okay? But I will show you my favorite at the end, okay? Next up, we have Bronze Seduction Mothership 5. And this is a beauty. Honestly, this is usually most people's favorite mothership. And I really couldn't see why, because it is just so freaking stunning. So let's go ahead and uh, swatch these bad boys. <laughs> So here is Bronze Seduction and Bronze Seduction is probably apart from the red shades which I feel like you can really just see they're so beautiful and spectacular. The actual like beautiful shades like this one which is this shade right here which is actually one of my faves, spoiler alert, you just you're not going to get the full effect of these unless you put them on the eyes and you're kind of in like low lighting and you can really see the reflection but I mean look, freaking out this is this is gorgeous. This is a perfect Christmas palette, by the way, just FYI with Christmas coming up. Mm. So next up, we have one of my all time faves and that is Midnight Sun. Y'all know if you've seen any of my videos, I love Midnight Sun. Midnight Sun is my girl. She's beaten up. I love her. So let us swatch away. Here we have Midnight Sun swatches. I love this palette because I really love this copper shade. It makes the most beautiful, like smoky coppery eye. I don't always love, love golds, but I do love that this gold is a little bit more cool toned. If I'm gonna wear a gold, it needs to be a cool tone gold and not a warm tone gold. I mean, the purple, the purple is freaking stunning. The purple is like smoky dreams. I love it. And then this like glittery, silvery, toppery kind of shade. This is so beautiful with like all over the lid. It kind of creates like this like wet, glossy eye look. It's just, and like this shade laid over any of these, it's just so beautiful. So, I mean, I mean, look, look. We are down to the last three. And next up we have Divine Rose One. She's also a beauty. Honestly, I think I've said every single one of these are just absolutely so pretty and they are. They are. They just are. They're gorgeous. And here we have all of the Blitz Astral shades swatched for Divine Rose 1. These are probably the most wearable every day, at least in my opinion, kind of Blitz Astral shades that you'll get in Pat's quads. Like I think these are all very subtle Blitz Astral shades, if that kind of makes sense. Verging on the cool tone, this glittery shade is just freaking stunning. This like duochrome pinky shifty shade is just beautiful. Um, and the gold is stunning. It's like a very cool tone gold. And then you've got this pink. I've done like two looks with this pink alone because I genuinely love this and I wear this quite a lot in real life. So yeah, Divine Rose 1. Isn't she a beauty? Divine Rose 2. So second to last mothership that I have in my collection. The only um, mothership palette that I don't have is decadence and that doesn't actually have any blitz astral shades so i do have all of the actual physical like big mothership palettes with the blitz astral shades so let's go ahead and do divine rose two all righty and divine rose two again very, very beautiful, a lot more warm toned. And then you have that, I'm gonna try and get the shift to work for this duo or this multi-chrome, but I just, I, 
I feel like it's not gonna happen. I keep trying to make the multi-chrome happen and it's not gonna happen. But basically it shifts to like a grainy, maybe if I, you can kind of see it there. You can't really see it. I'm sorry guys. Um, but it shifts to like a kind of like a greeny gold. You can kind of see it a little bit on the tail end here, but yeah, it's like a greeny gold, but mostly on the eyes, you do kind of tend to see this purple color. But yeah, Divine Rose 2. Last but certainly not least, we have Utopian Dream, the newest to the Mothership family. So let's go ahead and swatch away with these beauties. And this is the beautiful Utopian Dream. And honestly, this, the camera does not do this purple justice. I noticed this in my review as well. This purple is freaking amazing. It is like neon in real life, like proper neon. It's amazing. Like it is such a glorious shade. This is the multi-chrome. It shifts to pretty much a really similar color, if not the same color as what the Divine Rose 2 multi-chrome shifts to. So it shifts from like, it's obviously like burgundy looking, whereas Divine Rose 2 is purple looking. And then it shifts to a very similar like goldy greeny color, but I can't seem to get it to shift for you on camera. I'm sorry. Uh, then you have this beautiful like purpley glittery topper shade which is stunning and then the goldy bronzy shade which is very similar to the one in uh, Sublime but it is different and I think I, I've got a video comparing Utopian Dream with all of the other Mothership palettes and Divine Rose 1 and 2 if you are wondering. I do have a video comparing any similar potential shades in here against that so I'll link that down below for you. But that is Utopian Dream. So what we're going to do now, guys, is I'm going to show you my all time favorite Blitz Astral shades and then we're pretty much going to wrap this up. So hopefully you've found this interesting in some way, shape or form. And these are my favorite of favorite. Like, I mean, these are my favorite special shades in the Pat McGrath Mothership collection. Now I'm only talking about the 10 pan palettes, okay? I'm not talking about any little ones. These are like, I, I, if I can only have these shades, I'll take them, okay? Now I'm gonna put the names on the screen right here because honestly, I really don't know the names of these, but I have two shades from Sublime right here because the green is just, I'm just such a sucker for a green, you guys. And then this pink, I mean, I, can you tell that I just love like these pinky purples? <laughs> this one is from Subversive. It's the pink out of Subversive. I just adore the pink from Subversive. Now I do, this doesn't mean that I don't love the other astral shades. I love every single astral shade, but these are like, if you're gonna rip them from my cold and hands, these are the ones that I wanna keep, okay? This one is that special like greeny sparkly shade from Bronze Seduction. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful, you guys. I think this is nearly my favorite of favorites, to be honest with you. This is like that pinky goldy shifty shade from Divine Rose 1. Just stunning. I wear it so, so often. It's like a go-to look for me. This one is the neon purple from Utopian Dream, which does not show on camera the justice of it, okay? You have to see the shade in person to understand. And then this shade is the... Um, kind of like purpley violety kind of shade. I think it's called Blitz Violet, maybe. I could be wrong though. Um, it'll be on the screen here from Subliminal. And that's what I have on my eyes today. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful, pretty shade. They all are, you guys. I know that I've probably just repeated myself a million times throughout this video being like, they're just so pretty, but they are. This is what makes Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath. You know what I'm saying? Like this is why you purchase the palettes because these shades are just everything you've ever wanted plus more, to be honest, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Okay. So that is the video. Let's go ahead and wrap this up and hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Alrighty. And that is every single one of my special shades from Pat McGrath swatched for you guys. What do we think? Let me know your thoughts down below. What are some of your favorite special shades from Pat McGrath? What are they? Let me know. I would love to hear from you. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you are watching till this point, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. I really do. And uh, if you have made it to this point, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope that you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.